see you've made it to another episode of Dark Star Reviews. Welcome. It is my deepest apologies that Captain Darkstar won't be in this episode today. He has uh, found himself otherwise engaged. So, I will be your host. I am Beralt of Trivia. And I am a Witcher. The reason Captain Darkstar contacted me for this particular episode is with season two of The Witcher airing on Netflix, he thought that I would be the utmost authority to discuss today's weapon, the Silver Sword. Now, this is unlicensed, of course, so it'll be a little different than what most of you are used to if you've ever played The Witcher video games. And if you're watching the series as of yet, he doesn't carry this sword at all. The Silver Sword is designed for a Witcher like me to slay the most heartiest of monsters. As you can tell, the handle is ordained. The blade itself is a 440 stainless steel, unsharpened, so safe to have in a collection or safe to use as a cosplay instrument if playing a Witcher is your thing. The whole sword measures 49 inches overall and feels well weighted and fairly balanced even though it's non-functional. Now, I have monsters to be slaying later today. So before the captain and I parted ways, I asked him if he knew of a staging area that I could hone my skill and sharpen my sword on. And he happened to leave me a map to what he's been calling the most majestic and ancient of staging areas. Sure to hone my skill and sharpen my steel. Lucky for us, it doesn't seem like it's far away and the captain is obviously no cartographer. So, with the directions in hand or staging area, let me call my faithful steed, Grouch! We move! And we'll see you there. Well, it looks like a fine staging area the captain has uh, sent us to. Without further ado, let's put my sword to the test so that I might go out and slay some monsters! test but as you can see the sword is not will is not capable of slaying any monsters anytime soon now due to the hellacious wind the town is experiencing I didn't do a lot of explaining what you were seeing out there so let's go over it now as you could tell when I was hitting the log the first thing that happened was this blade bent 
almost completely around the log with the first swing. And that was disappointing indeed. And as I kept hitting the log, you could see the blade just kept bending and bending and bending. And then we moved on to the dowels that the captain had set up. And as you can tell here, it made it through the dowels, but was no better, worse for wear from doing it. <laughs> and I love this scene where I'm actually able to straighten this blade out by hand in order to do the captain's final test, which he calls the sword killer. And it is named appropriately because it killed this sword. But a few things I want to point out. The first thing that surprised me the most was being non-functional. The captain has always told me that their rat tail tang, which means this pummel should screw on to the end of the blade. But as you can tell, they have some kind of coating over the threaded piece. And I'm not familiar with that as I am uh, skilled in killing monsters and not highlighting swords. That's something we might have to ask the captain of. But my best ed educated guess, this is not threaded, so it was designed to glue this on to the end there. Now even though the sword took a lot of damage, I'd like to highlight the fact that the nicks and burrs are very minimal. So other than being bent out of shape, this blade held up fairly well. And just for fun and to test my, test my Witcher's strength, I want to see if we might be able to flatten this back out. <laughs> yeah, it won't be killing any monsters, like I said. But for a nice decorative piece, or to add to a cosplay, this sword would be just fine and would make you a Superman amongst any of your friends. So I think that's all that needs to be said about this sword. I'll definitely have to get another one if I'll be killing monsters today with it. So for this special Witcher edition of Dark Star Reviews, I've been your host, Barrelt of Livia, and now it is time for Roach and I, hey Roach, to be taken off. If you haven't already, make sure you pickpocket the like button for all of its change so you have a coin to toss to your Witcher. Subscribe, and we'll see you next time.